We are given f of x, y and g of x, y and the set of all points x, y such that f of x, y is equal to g of x, y is the set of all points that are on the graph of the rational function y equals to r of x or the slant asymptote of r of x. And we wish to find the minimum value of r of x in the interval 0, 20, 18. So of course, we want to start by setting up this equality that f of x, y is equal to g of x, y. So we want to say x cubed plus x, y squared minus y, that's f, is equal to 2x squared y minus x. And before I go on, I want to recognize Gabriel N for being the very first person to correctly answer last week's challenge with the answer of 2. So let's see if we can get answer of 2 as well. So of course, whenever you're solving a any polynomial equation, so in our case, we are solving this for y, it's always nice to have 0 on one side. So let's put 0 on one side and let's move everything else to the left side. So let's say x cubed plus xy squared minus y stays the same and we have negative 2x squared y plus x is 0. I'm just moving these over to the other side. Now how do we proceed? How do we find y? There are many ways, many many ways of going about this. Perhaps the most obvious way is to use the quadratic formula because we have this polynomial quadratic with respect to y. So you can set it up as xy squared plus y times negative 1 minus 2x squared plus x cubed plus x is 0. And you can treat x as being a, negative 1 minus 2x squared as being b, and x cubed plus x as being c, and solve the resulting quadratic function for y. So you can solve the quadratic function and you should get the right answer. And another way, another possible way of getting the answer is to realize that when x is equal to y, when x is equal to y in this equation, we have x cubed plus x cubed because y is equal to x, minus x, y is x, minus 2x cubed plus x, and realize that we have 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, which cancel out, and negative x plus x, which cancel out as well, actually getting us 0. So when x is equal to y, we know this equation is satisfied. That's telling us that x minus y has to be the factor, has to be a factor of this expression on the left. And then you can use synthetic division to find the second factor and use that to find the answer. So these are some possible ways of going about this. But I think the most elegant way, most elegant way of obtaining the answer from this equation is by realizing that we have x cubed, negative 2x squared y and xy squared because this looks very similar. This looks very similar to, this looks very similar to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. We have something close to x squared off by factor of x minus 2x squared y again off by factor of x from negative 2xy and xy squared off by factor of x from y squared. And of course, this is x minus y squared. And indeed, we have another x minus y. So it looks like this simplification is going to solve this equation instantaneously. So let's try that. Factoring out x from these three, these three expressions, we get x times x squared minus 2xy plus y squared or x minus y squared. And of course, we have another x minus y. And you can think of this as being 1 times x minus y. So we can factor out x minus y from the entire thing, getting us x times 1 x minus y plus 1. So I'm just factoring x minus y out is equal to 0. And we're done almost. So we are very close to being done. So we know x minus y is equal to 0 is one possibility, or y is equal to x, or you know this thing can be 0. And when this thing is 0, we have x times x minus y is negative 1, or dividing by x, we get x minus y is negative 1 over x, and rearranging, we get y is x plus 1 over x, move y over to the other side, negative 1 over x over to the left side, and we have y is x plus 1 over x. 
So we have these two possible solutions and we know we know our solution has to be a rational function r of x and this length asymptote of r of x and it is pretty obvious that y equals to x plus 1 over x is the rational function and y equals to x is the is the slant asymptote that's the slant asymptote of r of x which is of course x because as x gets very large 1 over x is be going to become very very small and because that's infinitesimal the rational function should behave very similar to y equals to x as x approaches infinity so we know that's the slant asymptote so we have everything we need we just have to find we just have to find the minimum value of r of x in the interval x belonging to open interval 0 20 18 so we want to minimize this we want to minimize r of x in the interval 0 20 18 so what do we do well one easy way is to just use calculus just use calculus, just differentiate y equals to x plus 1 over x, set it equal to 0, maybe just check that it's minimum using first derivative or second derivative test, and you should be done. But another way, there's another easy way without using calculus, and that's by using AM, GM inequality, arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality, which states that arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean when all values when all values we're concerned with are positive are positive and since we're looking at the x value from 0 to 2018 our x values are going to be positive so we can use amgm inequality and of course for two things amgm inequality states that arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean which is square root of a b and realize in our case our a is x and b is 1 over x and a times b because a is x and b is 1 over x is going to simplify nicely to become 1 so we know this entire thing is going to be 1 but what do we have on the left side we have x plus 1 over x over 2 is greater than or equal to 1 because a is x and b is 1 over x and we quickly see that 1 plus 1 over x has to be greater than or equal to 2 and it's pretty easy to see that when x is 1 when x is 1 we have 1 plus 1 over 1 1 plus 1 over 1 which is indeed 2 so this minimum value can be achieved and we conclude that 2 is the minimum value of r of x on the interval 0 20 18 when x is 1. So the answer the answer to this question the answer to challenge 41 is 2.